what does the red pill represent? The red pill represents waking up. How often have you been jarred by a loud noise, woken up and thought, great, thank you for knocking me out of that peaceful slumber and bringing me into this fantastic shit world that we're in now. Hmm. Given the option to hit the snooze button, how often in life do you hop out of bed excited and ready to go? Not that often, you say. In fact, sometimes you like to sleep in and relax. Do you want to be hopped up on speed all the time and red pills? When you are handing out red pills, did you ever stop to think people are enjoying their sleep? I love rap music, but that's a lie. But let's say I did. I wear headphones. You see, headphones allow me to enjoy the music without bothering my neighbors. When you're a good neighbor or live in a society, sometimes it's important to make sure you can get along with others. One thing other people don't like is loud noises. Loud, annoying, uncalled for noises. Banging pots and pans. These are the sort of things no one wants to hear. A red pill's right along that line. Let's, let's just think about it. What is it that you're trying to red pill someone about? Let's say you're a MGTOW. Hey, hey you, married person, guess what? Your wife doesn't really love you. She's gonna leave you and take all your crap. Has, have you helped? In order to find any truth, we can only find it for ourselves. Stop and think about all the important lessons you learned in life. How many of them were in school? How many came from a book? Did you learn in school that drinking too much alcohol could give you a headache the next day? Why did you ever have a hangover? You knew what would happen. It took the hangover to teach you responsibility. Some of us have had many hangovers and continue to drink. There is always information we need to learn for ourselves. Men out there listening, at some point in your life, well before it happened, someone advised you, hey, don't masturbate with shampoo. You won't like the results. In fact, don't use any soap for fapping. You're not going to like the results. Yet you've done it. Men listening, I'm sure that some of you have masturbated more than twice using soap. Did you have the same result? So you heard, don't masturbate with soap. You did it and felt a sharp pain. Yet you tried again with shampoo or soap, thinking the results would somehow be different. Now, of course... You've learned, heck, I should never fap using shampoo or soap. Even though someone told you, you still did it. You still tried. For those of you who are saying, I've never tried that, you're a liar. And go ahead and thumbs down this channel now, because you're a liar. But the biggest lie is to yourself. You're lying to yourself. Go ahead and swallow the blue pill. You can't really tell other people things. They have to learn for themselves. Why are you walking around handing out pills? If you are gonna hand out a pill, hand out a blue pill, hand out the fun pill. If you're going to be handing out pills to people, give them a fun pill. Here, take this. Oh great, if I take this pill, what, is, what happens? Well. Your entire life is going to change when you realize you're trapped in the middle of a lie. And every day will be worse than the last. Go ahead, swallow this pill. Do you see Jeff Bezos handing out red pills to people? Why is it that a 98-pound vegan is trying to tell me the truth about anything? Oh, can I have low energy and look like I'm dying? Sure would love my teeth to fall out. Think about how you look 
I don't want to swallow any vegan red pill. Your meat suffered for you. I don't care. Didn't want to know that. I just wanted to eat a hamburger, you vegan weirdo. Did you know your teeth are falling out and you look like crap? Don't worry about offending a vegan. You can always run away faster than a group of vegans because they have low energy. <laughs> they couldn't catch you. Just make sure to go longer than a few minutes and you can outrun any mob of skinny vegans. Why do you want to wake anyone else up? Why? What will you gain from it? Is your life perfect? Most likely not. If you took all the energy you're using now, trying to convince people of other things, think of what you could accomplish. You could pick up a new skill, learn something. By living a good life and doing things the correct way, you'd be surprised how often people ask you, hey, what's your secret? Why are you in such a good mood? And before handing out any red pills, take a look in a mirror. What could be improved in your life? If you have your shit together, people will ask you, what's your secret? If you want advice, drop some beans in the ground, climb up that stock and go talk to Tony Robbins. The truth in life, no one wants advice. We don't even seek advice. We look for someone who agrees with what we want to do. We don't really ask someone, hey, what do you think I should do? When we ask someone, what do you think I should do? We're looking for a person to agree with us to give us cover for what we already want to do. We learn things when we do them. When we want to know something, we ask people. If you are very concerned with handing out red pills for God knows what reason, because most of the time you spend on other people would be better served looking into yourself. Think about one of the great philosophers from ancient times, Socrates. There was a man in ancient Greece named Socrates who did such a good job of handing out red pills that they killed him. Yeah, Socrates asked questions to people, just questions. Questions that bothered people so much, they killed them. Yeah. Who's the first red pill hander outer? That's Socrates. Socrates. So you can, you can hand out red pills. People are not going to like it. They'll make you drink the hemlock. Socrates never told people, hey, you are a rich old jerk. Did you know that? You're hoarding of all this gold and loaning it out to other people. Really cramping the style here in Athens, bro. If you didn't hold all that gold, other people would be happier. Jerk off. No, no, that's not what Socrates did. Perhaps Socrates saw a rich person walking into the market with a hot young boy on his arm. And he said, hey there, rich Greek fellow. Were you not to be consuming all this food? Is it not true that the poor would have more to eat? Socrates asked probing questions, questions people didn't want the answer to. Why do you weigh so much? If I'm so happy, why am I alone? Questions that made people think. The only way to wake someone up is to get them to think for themselves. Thanks for watching. Swallow that red pill. Hit the subscribe button and get blasted once a month with a boring video you don't want to watch.